May 1990. After years of searching, the Navy and the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute find the USS Macon. At the Macon air shipwreck, scientists are racing to retrieve a key artifact. All right, let's move on. We've got about 15 minutes left. We want to try that one? Go for it. All right, let's try that one. We have 10 minutes left, sorry. Running out of time. Oh, oh, that is a good piece. Um, grab it. That's good. That's good. Oh, yay. That's good. Um, <laughs> oh, I gotta you come got a up a little bit. for ninth inning drama, don't you, Megan? Oh, I love it. This is what I'm here for. Bob All right, Megan. successful mission, Yay! everyone. Yay! Blue Megan. Good job. Good job, everyone. Yay. Thank you guys so much. The girder allows Megan to study the rate of deterioration at the Megan site, giving her insight into how long other artifacts will remain. That's good. It was a fantastic way to see science and the people interacting with that science really get excited. For Megan, the girder is a small piece of a massive puzzle. The Megan site is different from most aviation sites that you see because it's an airship with all of its associated internal pieces, but also there are four biplanes down there. So at this site, I get to study all four biplanes at once, as well as the airship itself. The Macon's remains are off Point Sur in the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, a protected area that covers 6,000 square miles. The 1990 discovery launches a decades-long scientific endeavor that includes the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, NOAA, and many others. The Macon is too deep for human divers, so researchers send high-tech robots called ROVs. An ROV is just something that I use as a scientist to give me the ability to do what I need to do underwater. With robotic arms, scientists have recovered artifacts to shed more light on naval airships. The Macon's remains range from hulking Maybach engines to lightweight plates, to desk chairs used by the crew. All of these artifacts make up what the airship was and how people actually lived on it when it was flying. One of the most important pieces is this girder, part of the Macon's huge internal skeleton. 